Hey guys, we're back here in Whangarei after a couple of really neat days exploring some parts of Te Araroa here in Te Tai Tokoro. And if you're like me, you're going to be keen to get out and explore some tracks and trails near your place. And a couple of cool websites to help you find your next adventure uh, is Walking Access New Zealand and the Te Araroa website. So the first one, Walking Access, Arahiko Aotearoa, actually has a function called search for your next adventure. So you click on that and I like this feature which is the maps one and you can see a map of Aotearoa and these dots and you press on the dot near your region and you can find all the tracks and trails that are near your place. Uh, another really cool part of this website is that you can find parts or tracks and trails that you can access and there's also shows you areas that you don't have access to. So it makes sure that you're not going into places where you're not allowed to go. Um, lots of other cool features on that, but the other really neat website is Te Araroa. And tons of information here about Te Araroa. A couple of features I'll point out to you. One is the trail itself. So you can click on the trail and you can see the different regions uh, where Te Araroa goes through. We've been here in Northland, and so you can scroll through that and you can see uh, all the different parts of Te Araroa that go through the whole of Northland. And so I can actually see some places that go right near my place in Kirikiri. So I'm keen to get home and explore those parts for a start. And the other cool feature that you might like to have a look at on this website is the app. So you can download the Te Araroa app, and that's got a lot of information about tracks and trails that may not be open for some reason or another. There could have been a slip or the trails closed for some reason. Maybe there's been a Cody dieback outbreak and you're not allowed to use the trail. So it's got up to date information and it's good to check that out before you go somewhere to make sure you're not disappointed when you get to the location. And some of the um, parts of that app, such as maps and locations of huts and that's campsites and that sort of thing, can be accessed uh, without the need for cell phone reception. So there you go, the Te Araroa website or walking access to find your next adventure. Get out there, get exploring. There's so much to see and so much to do. See you on a field trip soon. Ka kite anō.